right, so Ola is your nickname. Yes, sir. How do you properly pronounce your full name? Ola Sukami, but then, you know, when, when you put the accent with it, you hear my mom say it, it's Ola Sukami. Ola Sukami. Close enough. Nice, huh? <laughs> is there a significance to your first name? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, it means my wealth is coming. Um, so, my brother's is my wealth is here, and mine is my wealth is coming. What's your brother do? Uh, he's a medical student. Wow. Yeah. Where does he go to school? Uh, UTSA, okay. uh, San Antonio. Okay, in San Antonio. So, yes, you moved from Nigeria to the United States when you were eight? Yes, sir. What Man. did you think when you moved here? Can you remember? Man, uh, coming, coming here was a land of opportunities. My mom wanted us to have a better life here. So, you know, we came and shoot. I ain't been back yet. Did you speak English at that point? Yeah, uh, our primary language is English, but we have a, uh, our second day is Yoruba. So I'm Yoruba, and then, so my mom at home, she speaks Yoruba and English too. Okay, so that was advantageous. You didn't have to necessarily learn the learn language. English all over yet, no. The, the Nigerian people who immigrate to the United States often end up in the Houston area. Uh-huh. Why is that? Because Houston is like second Nigeria, man. <laughs> it's like, it's hot, the traffic is crazy, and it's just, that's where everybody migrates, and it's a, it's a affordable place to live. You know? and, but it really is welcoming in that way. Oh, for sure. In that there are people who could help you assimilate very quickly, mm -hmm. and it, it seems like people do really well once they go from Nigeria to the Houston area. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, Houston is the second Nigeria, and you know a lot of people move there, and, and you know they have a great time. All right, now you weren't a football player to start with. No, I was not. How did you get involved in football? So when I got here, um, you know, I was a soccer player. I played, well, football in Nigeria, soccer. Um, so I played soccer, came here, got to eat and got fat, you know, got a little chunky, couldn't move like that no more. So my high school coaches like came up to my mom. Well, they was calling my mom trying to get me to play. She wasn't having none of that. It was academics first, academics first, academics first. My uncle eventually convinced her to let me play. Went out there, started playing, and you know, fell in love with it ever since. Okay, so. What's a, what's a traditional meal you can throw at us for somebody who is of your bit descent? Man, um, I'm a big fan of jollof rice and beans. I, I crush that whenever I gotta eat, so whenever I gotta put weight on. Jollof rice, beans, chicken, rice and stew, fufu, ebba, I'm like all oh, those. But I, I gotta lay off some of them just cause like they put a lot of weight on you. All right, so you'd obviously laid off of him when you went after Russell Wilson at the end of the <laughs> Seattle game. Because, man, you looked quick. Was, was that the best moment of your career so far? Oh, man, for sure. Um, that was my very first career sack uh, during the regular season. Uh, man, it felt great. Just a, a blessing to be out on the field and, and you know, help the team win. What has it been like for you to live here in Nashville and for Titans fans to really come to know who you are? I mean. Very quickly, you have become a, a name player since moving here. Bet y'all ain't never seen a Nigerian cowboy. <laughs> <I'll let. laughs> oh man, it's like I said, it's been amazing, man. I ain't gonna lie to you when I first was thinking about Nashville, I didn't think, you know, I would be in the position that I am here today. They created an opportunity for me. I came out here, you know, I did what I had to do. And you know, it's love, just getting a lot of love from the fans and it's just, it's different for me, man. I'm enjoying every part of it. Y'all already know. I don't ever got to say it. It's game day. Come on. All right, so what's your goal for the rest of the season? Hey, man, just keep stacking the wins. Um, keep improving every day and just, you know, keep getting better. What's the key to being a good pass rusher? What are you learning about that that's making a difference? Effort and finish. Effort and finish. Because Babel says it all every day, all day. Effort and finish. <laughs>